So in today's video, I'm gonna make sure that you never top your fairway woods or irons ever again. So most golfers absolutely understand what they're trying to achieve when they've got their woods and irons in their hand, but find it so hard to hit ball and then ground. Now obviously you're not missing the ball, but many golfers just don't touch the ground at all. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you why that happens, help you understand why you're doing it as well, but then most importantly, show you how you're gonna correct that to make sure you hit some of the best shots you've ever hit from the ground. So before we get onto the main content for the video, guys, just wanna take a couple of seconds to thank you for taking time to watch my videos. Really appreciate you taking that time. And I want a special thanks to anyone who's already subscribed to my channel. Now, if you're watching and haven't though, do me a favor, click on the button below, ring the notification bell, and then you'll find out whenever I drop a new video. But for now, let's get on with stopping you topping your fairway woods and irons. So are you one of those golfers that you've got your perfect tee shot away, maybe with a chance to get on a par five in two or a very long par four for the first time ever, and this happens. Cold top it. Unfortunately, that one stops short of the water, but on another day, it ends up going in the water. But what might make you even more angry is that you stand up having just left it short of the water and then do this. And even though you think you've got away with it with that first topped fairway wood, to stand up there and then top your iron into the water is just incredibly frustrating. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to stop topping your fairway woods and irons and learn how to hit the ball perfectly from the ground every single time. Right then guys, so like I said, the key for today's video is helping you understand how you're gonna strike the ball well from the ground with your fairway woods and your irons. Now I've done quite a few videos on particularly fairway woods for this. So hopefully most of you understand that when we hit a good shot from the ground, we're looking for the club to make contact with the ball and then the ground. And I would say the majority of golfers fully understand that, but find it really, really hard to actually achieve that. And the thing I find most golfers get frustrated with is they actually find touching the ground at all incredibly difficult. And I kind of get it with a fairway wood sometimes because it's quite long and they're not that practiced with it. But with irons, definitely golfers should find it a little easier than they do. So in this video, I'm gonna help you understand why you struggle to touch the ground, why you actually might be making it worse at address, and then most importantly, gonna give you something to work on to make sure that you get that correct impact and then really learn how to hit the ball well from the ground with all your clubs. So, the first thing I tend to see with most golfers, and I'll start with the iron shot that we've got here and then we'll move it into the fairway wood because the principle's the same is a lot of golfers want to feel that they've got a little bit of room away from the golf ball. And to be fair to a lot of golfers, I think they actually get in a reasonable address position. So as they swing back, most things look decent, but as they start down, this is where it starts going wrong. So a lot of golfers, because they're trying to move the club quickly, they kind of straighten the legs, move a little bit nearer to the golf ball, and as they lift, obviously the club comes back higher from the ball. And I think the challenge for a lot of guys is they actually feel that they're a bit too close to the golf ball to begin with. So then what they do is they give themselves a little bit more room. They're kind of really stretching at a dress, but it feels great. Like I've got loads of room. Like I can't be too near the golf ball. I think it's easy when you're static to get the club down there. It's very hard when it's moving at speed. So then what they'll do is they'll stand up there again still move near the ball and miss it. And they think, Ooh, if I can't make contact with it with my seven iron, well, every other club in the bag becomes very, very challenging. So the first little challenge I'm gonna ask you to do is, 
as you set up to the golf ball, I want you to understand that it's the fact that you're moving nearer the golf ball, or early extending, as a lot of golfers will call that, moving nearer the golf ball, then you've got to create room. And the way you do that is by lifting up through impact. So I'm actually gonna get you to feel that you're a little bit closer to the golf ball. And I'm actually gonna move the ball out of the way just to use the tee as a little reference point to begin with. So you're gonna move a fraction closer, and then you're gonna to get to the top of your backswing as normal. Now, the couple of little things I want you to feel in your downswing. The first one is I want you to feel that you move left towards the target, or obviously right if you're a left-handed golfer. So you move slightly towards the target, and then I want you to feel that you really get the weight pushing more into your heel, your lead heel. And what that will do is as the weight moves into the heel, that lead hip moves backwards, so you can now see my mic pack behind me. And as the hips stay back, there's lots and lots of room to swing your arms into, but you also maintain your posture and your shape better through impact. When the hips move towards the golf ball and the legs straighten, we can see we stand up at a posture, and that's where it's incredibly difficult to hit the floor. So the first thing I would do is, move the golf ball out of position. And I want you to just rehearse a few of those and get a feel for the club actually touching the ground at all. So we're gonna get there, and like I said, it's only a seven iron to begin with, but you can get there, swing to the top as normal. From here, weight forward, and then into the heel quicker. So again. And it's interesting because even for me, this is something I need to work on in my swing a little bit more. Definitely feel that as I come through the golf ball, I stay over the ball a little bit more. And certainly from a face on perspective, I would have a little bit more side bend, which would be a great thing through impact. If you're somebody who moves nearer the golf ball and stands up, you get that very weak position. And if you're somebody who moves as we're discussing now, you can see that club in a completely different place at impact. So I've only done two or three. Obviously what we want is to get a feel is maybe just hit a couple of shorter swings first, maybe a little half swing back to waist height, shift forward into the heel, and just see if again you can get touch in the floor and obviously let the ball get in the way. So that was good. And even that one got over the water. That wasn't even with a full swing. So that was good. I'd be dry, I'd be in play. And even though I wouldn't necessarily want you to go out and just hit every shot like that, if you were playing and really struggling, touching the ground, getting that ball and then ground contact, I'd rather you managed your way around the golf course with that shorter swing, knowing that you're delivering the club how you want, and then the more you practice the longer swing, the better that'll be. So again, we're gonna go full swing now, normal back, shift forward, then into my heel to keep that lead hip back and keep room. A better strike. Just off the right edge of the green. And the more of those strikes you can get, it is so good for your confidence to know that you're gonna get the ball in the air and a decent distance every time. And the confidence you can get from knowing that you can stand up there and hit some greens and hit your clubs, particularly your irons, you know. I know a lot of golfers are gonna use fairway woods and hybrids a lot. I think it's when you get into those shorter irons, if you can't hit it, it really becomes a scorecard wrecker. So I've shown with seven iron there, I can definitely do it. So now let's move on to three wood. Now, just before I hit the three wood shot, I think if you're generally somebody as well, who's good off the little tee or the fluffy grass with your irons and your fairway woods, this is still for you because you're probably still making this movement, but getting away with it because the ball's up in the air. So. Fairway wood, same feeling. I've got three wood here, but you might be five wood, seven wood, hybrid, whatever it is, same feelings. And it will absolutely 
transform your game if you can stand up and hit shots like that. So that was pretty good, wasn't it? I'm not promising you're gonna hit the flag with your fairway woods and have those little tap-ins for birdies or eagles. But the massive thing for me, like I said, is there's so many golfers struggle with their irons and their woods topping it. I wanna make sure that at the end of today, you really understand that if you do this well, you'll never hit that shot again. And like I said, for most golfers, it's just that case of back pretty good. As they start down, they move nearer the golf ball. They lift up to create that room. So we're not gonna give ourselves more room. We're gonna stay there, swing back as normal, shift left, and then get that weight into that heel nice and quickly. That's gonna keep that room. Swing your arms and the club into the room you've created and just start enjoying hitting the best shots you've ever hit from the floor. Right, so hopefully you understand why you were topping the ball. And hopefully we're not gonna keep changing what we're doing all the time. We're gonna start being more consistent and delivering the club more consistently as a result of that. But if you can work on what I've spoken about in today's video, honestly, it's gonna transform the way you hit your fairway woods and irons. Gonna be playing a completely different game than you're used to, and your scores will absolutely tumble as a result of that. And even better, if you've worked on it without your pals knowing, you might go out, hit shots they've never seen you hit before, and take the money for the first time in a while. So guys, hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, like it and share it. Comment below and I'll get back to as many people as I can. If you've enjoyed today's video and you don't currently subscribe to my channel, please consider clicking the button below. Remember to ring the notification bell, then you'll find out whenever I drop a new video. Follow me on all my social media platforms, all under Ali Taylor Golf. Hopefully catch up with some of you guys down here soon. Stay in contact.